guys, so as you can tell, I'm kind of in a new location in my house. I've been fumbling with the lighting to try and get um, the lighting to be semi-decent. I feel like the last couple of videos, my videos were kind of maybe too dark, um, and this looks like it might be okay. Um, so a couple weeks ago, I got requested to do a nail polish collection and storage video, and to be honest, I wasn't really going to do it because right now, my storage isn't really how I want it to be like it's kind of temporary because I'm still in the planning stages of um, planning my own little nail area um, but I figured it would be a great opportunity to do like a before um, and then later on when I get everything done I could do like an after um, so yeah if you guys want to see my nail polishes this is just going to be like a quick overview of um, what I've got how I do things and if you guys want a more detailed video on my collection, just let me know in the comments and I will do one. Um, so for now, it's just going to be brief. And so I'm going to take you to my bedroom and we're going to check out my nail polish. Okay, so here we are in my bedroom. And this is my one wall rack that I have. And this wall rack holds um, all of my, well, this wall rack holds just China Glaze. And because that is my favorite brand, that is the brand that I have the most of. So I just like to um, keep them in this little wall rack. And I've got them organized by color, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purples, pinks, and then down here like some glitters and like my um, glow-in-the-dark polish and stuff like that. So I'll step back. Oops. And that is my one and only wall rack that I have for now and then um, I have this little um, container that I hold all my overflow polishes and um, this is just temporary like I said until I can get you know more wall racks and I obviously don't keep this on my dresser but um, just for the sake of this video I pulled it out um, and then in this one I have um, more China Glaze polishes, any polishes that I have um, doubles of, like for instance, um, you know, Party Hardy, and you know, polishes that I really like that I wanted backups, I have. Um, I've got my Orly polishes in here, my OPI polishes, my Sinful Color polishes, my base coats, top coats, cuticle oils, finger paints, um, polishes like that. And actually, this container, let me get it. Um, it comes with a lid, hold on, and so, let's see, so it comes like that, and it snaps, it's kind of hard to do this one-handed, but it snaps on both ends, and then I just store it, um, next to my dresser, kind of out of the way. That's that, and then, let's see if I can undo this bottom one without one, breaking the nail, whoa, okay, let's see. Okay, and then this bottom section holds basically my um, drugstore polishes. I've got my Color Club, um, my Essie, Pure Ice, um, Wet n Wild, these are my Nicole by OPIs, Revlon, Clean Colors, Sally Hansen, I think I already said Wet n Wild. Those are my drugstore polishes basically. These are my salon polishes and uh, China Glaze polishes, and then um, in this drawer is kind of like my supply drawer. Um, I have a spreadsheet of all my polishes that I own on here. I keep them labeled and stuff on here. Um, and then um, these polishes right here are all the polishes that I've bought so far in December, and I've actually stopped buying this month because Christmas is coming up and I need to focus on my Christmas shopping rather than my nail polish shopping. So I will actually have a haul. Um, I'll record a haul probably today or tomorrow and have that posted. Um, so those are the nail polishes that need to be videotaped. Once I do a video of them, then I will put them away. Um, these are my color wheels that I swatch all my polishes on. These are my striping, um, my little stripers, which I don't have very many of, but I do love them. Um, these are some eyelashes that I got um, 
at Sally's they were buy two trying to glazes to get one pair of eyelashes free so I grabbed those this is just a nail art pin that I bought quite some time ago um, when I first started getting into nail art and it sucks in my opinion but I still have it these polishes here are my color club set that I'm actually going to give away sometime these are more um, of my nail wheels this is duct tape that I use for my manicures, mostly um, water marbles to tape off my fingers. This is the foul play that I'll be giving away sometime. Um, these are two acrylic paints that I've just recently started fumbling around with and practicing my nail art with because they are much easier to use in nail, po in nail art um, than regular nail polish. These are um, nail q-tips that I used to use and I no longer use them. These are my Conad stampers, plates, and polishes that I use. This little bin holds my palette, which I use to put random dots on if I need some polish. Um, I also store my Sharpie in there to label my nail polish wheels. Um, buffers, um, an old emery board that I don't use. My glass file, my regular brushes that I use for nail art. Then this little bin has all my rhinestones and my decals and my um, tip stickers and my Nivea cuticle cream and any kind of nail art stuff that I own is there. I've got a Sally's coupon. And so that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's, um, you know, just temporary. This isn't obviously how I want my setup to be, but that's just how it is currently. So that's that. Um, like I said, if you guys want a more detailed video on polishes or maybe just a certain brand or whatever, let me know. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my nail polish collection and I will definitely see you guys in the next video. Bye! Just keep